And we're now going to speak to uh, John Bridge, Chief Executive of the Cambridgeshire Chamber of Commerce. This is one of the areas which was given down as a, as a negative rating, losing money in effect in the report. Hello to you. Uh, so, what, what, first of all, what do you think of what the Secretary of State's saying, that actually everybody benefits? Well, clearly he, he uh, is not uh, reflecting the points that have been made in the report. Uh, and indeed, I would think that the report itself is significantly misleading. And some may well think that's deliberately so, because clearly uh, the benefit uh, is only going to go to part of the country and perhaps not the part of the country which could actually add um, greater significant uh, uh, contribution to our economy by having investment there. And I think one of the real problems we have is that instead of really looking at the economic reasons for uh, the investment in our infrastructure, there are political reasons why this is happening. And as a result of that, we're not actually getting uh, the kind of benefits that we could derive if that kind of money that's being spent on HS2 was used for many other different projects right across the country. But, but in a way, it's almost an argument, because some areas lose, it's almost an argument for never investing in anything, because there are always going to be winners and losers. There is, in, there is indeed, but I think what we have to understand, that one of the key things you need to do is invest in success. And one of the uh, real points that the government doesn't seem to understand is if they invest in uh, locations like Cambridge, um, the investment they uh, put in will actually get far greater economic benefit and it will be much quicker and actually provide them with the money they need to do all the other things. What they tend to do is starve the successful areas of investment and put it elsewhere without, I think, really understanding the true negative impact of that and the fact that we may well not be able to continue to grow, grow our economy in the way that we need to. Are you resigned to HS2 going ahead? Um, I think that uh, HS2 will continue. Whether it actually get built, uh, I think, is a big question. Um, people are beginning to question the amount of investment required, and I believe that uh, the uh, recent KM. PMG report uh, was to try and balance out and show the economic benefit, but it only looked at one particular aspect of it, and it certainly didn't look at things like the requirement for skills, and particularly high skills, and the way that businesses look uh, at particular factors when they're investing. So I genuinely believe that actually we will still be able to grow our economy in Cambridge and Cambridgeshire, uh, but we would be able to grow it faster if we got the investment we need in our infrastructure, because the one point I would make, while the government is putting all this money into HS2 and suddenly magic, magic another 10 billion to keep the project going, um, it says it can't afford 1.5 billion for an essential international route through Cambridgeshire and is trying to put tolls on to raise some 25 million and they're saying without it, uh, it can't go ahead because it's not affordable. These two things uh, just don't make sense when you look at them uh, together. But of course, you, I mean, you mentioned the, the benefits of HS2, uh, when there's an estimate of £15 billion pounds in positive benefit to the nation. It is perfectly possible, and there are accusations, that that actually is being exaggerated. And likewise, therefore, the losses to areas like yours is also an exaggeration. Yes, I think the, uh, from what I've seen of the report, it is significantly flawed, uh, and I'm not an expert in these things, uh, but I think that uh, very much there are plans to grow economies like Cambridge, and we have very significant other factors which will enable us to succeed. And certainly, uh, with a world-class university and uh, many countries, companies wanting to come here and uh, world-class global companies, um, we will continue to be able to grow our economy. But we do need the government's help. What we can't afford is for all the money that they're spending, particularly in transport and on infrastructure, to be going into one project and not understanding the real necessity uh, of the vast array of different infrastructure projects, particularly uh, in our area with the East Coast Main Line uh, and uh, rail connections in and out of Stansted Airport. There are many things that we need significant investment for, and the real concern is that we could stunt our growth if we're not able to get that, and the government tends to uh, channel it all through to the HS2 project.